Ukraine was one of those countries that emerged from the breakup of the Soviet Union. Now it's fighting to expel Russian invaders. This morning, a team of international inspectors is headed to a nuclear plant um, that is in Russian-occupied territory amid concerns about a potential disaster. Deborah Pata was there when the team from the International Atomic Energy Agency departed from Kyiv. Director Rafael Grossi and his team prepare for the early morning drive to the Russian-occupied nuclear power plant amid safety concerns along the route. We're going to occupy territory and this requires uh, the explicit guarantees from not only from the Russian Federation, also from uh, the Republic of Ukraine and we have been able to secure that. The plant sits along a perilous front line where fighting has heightened fears of a radiation disaster. The energy inspectors are on their way to Zaporizhia. It's a risky journey. The first time the body will be investigating a nuclear plant in an occupied war zone. The team will spend a few days at the site in an attempt to stabilize the situation. The nuclear inspectors met with Ukrainian government officials yesterday, including Energy Minister Herman Khalushenko, who told CBS News they made it clear the Russian occupation of the plant has to end. The station should be back to Ukrainian control, Ukrainian government control, and then we could implement any recommendations. Grossi confirmed they hope to establish a permanent presence at the power plant. For CBS Mornings, Deborah Pada, Kyiv, Ukraine.